Hi guys, Baza Mills here with Andy, Liam and Tom from The Enemy. Welcome back to Glasgow guys, uh, it's a great city of culture. A um, couple of quick questions, Buckfast or Iron Brew? You're a brew man, but he loves it. You know, I've never tried Buckfast, so why not mix the two? I might as well. Mix the two. Might as well. That's, yeah. what that's where I'm Buckfast brew mixer. <laughs> I like your style. Uh, tenants or whiskey? Uh, oh mate, I'm whiskey all day long. Single malt. Don't don't mess around with it either. No ice, no water, just straight down. Ten oh, super. Yeah. Ten, ten and super. One, <laughs> yeah. one before I go out. Oh mate, I'm like Oban all day long. <laughs> awesome. Uh, you guys have just played a set here in uh, Love Music in Glasgow. How did that go for you guys? I loved it. It's um, it's basically the smallest music shop in the world, but it's it's an independent music shop, which is the important thing. And. Uh, it, literally, the speakers in the PA are smaller than the speakers in my car, and I was thinking it was going to sound weird, and it's probably the best sound of any in-store we've done. It's amazing. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I was here. Great sound, really enjoyed it. Andy, uh, it's automatic. It's been hailed as a bit for a reinvention uh, for you guys. How did the uh, recording process compare to other animal, uh, uh, other albums? Um, completely different, actually. We started off in the practice room, but it's been three years since we like started writing it. Um, and I think we went about it in a different way, went on the computers and stuff like that. And we went on the computers? That sounds like sc at school when you go to the library. <laughs> All right. And go on the computers. <laughs> you know, you know, like, like logic yeah, and computers. stuff like that. And like Space Invaders, Colin McRae Rally, that sort of thing. And then we yeah. made an album. <laughs> and that's how, we, that's how we did it. And that's how we ended up like this. Bish, bish, bish. No, um, no, because we did a lot of it on the computer. Like we learn how to do like logic and, and embrace like technology and more. Did we didn't do yeah, all te technical use... terms from Hopkins. Yeah, technical terms. All right, I'm gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tom, uh, lead single. It's automatic. It's somewhat hypnotic groove and video. Uh, where did the inspiration come for from that one? Uh, for the song. Yeah. It's just about a really messy relationship and breakup. Well, it was an awesome relationship, but therefore a messy breakup. Look, you're gonna make him um, cry now. But yeah, do you I'm know sorry. What I mean? uh, are you alright? You touched the nerve. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Um, no, it's, um, a lot of this album is about more personal stuff than we've done before. Okay, uh, moving on quickly then. Uh, do you have a favourite song it's on right. the album? I mean, like, I'm alright. No, it's not. It's not alright. I'm okay. He's back. I'm <laughs> Ben's back. <laughs> Favourite song on the album then, let's go around you guys. For me it's Some Things, which he wrote pretty On much. computers. <laughs> In the library. Yeah. In the library, got myself a library card. On his Commodore 64. Oof. <laughs> He's not that old, is he? I can't choose it, I mean, everyone that I hear, I'm just loving it. So I think as we start playing them more live, I'll get a definite favourite. Indecisive. Yeah. So yeah. looking forward to the live shows. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait. Great. Uh, speaking of albums, uh, Oasis, What's the Story, Morning Glory, recently celebrated its 20th anniversary. 20 years. Any favourite song that. for you guys on that album? What was that, sorry? Any favourite song for you on that, um, you guys on that album? Isn't track one, Hello? Yeah. Like that, yeah, great. as an album opener, like, you can't do better than literally saying hello, can you? But also, that tune sounds massive. I remember the first time I heard that, and it's like, it's one of those, I like, we've tried to do this on the Forger, where you, you like, it's really quiet and you turn it off and then it blows your speakers. She's electric. She's electric? Yeah, class. Do you know what, I, yeah, that used to be in my car, like that album used to be in my car, just, the whole thing. It's, yeah, it's like, yeah. Massive. Great album. What about yourself, Liam? Got one? <coughs> I don't know, things like Wonderwall and stuff like that, there's so many massive tracks, isn't there? The first thing that Liam ever sent to me ever was he sort of came up to me and he was like, Oh I've just I just heard you talking about Oasis, um, I really like Oasis and you had was it all the Oasis song titles or all the Oasis lyrics drawn on your pencil case? That's yeah, cool. I think so. every Oasis um, proper fan song, song title, yeah. Awesome big fan then, yeah. Um, so your forthcoming tour then, guys, you're back in Glasgow playing the garage late November. Any specific highlights of playing Glasgow in the past? A uh, specific highlight of the garage is just always getting electrocuted a little bit on my lip from the mic every, like, every time I play there. That's I can't like it. Now, if that, do if that doesn't happen this time, I'll be disappointed because I look forward to it. <laughs> I, mean, I don't have to shave that day. I just like, go to soundcheck and it's like, it just flies. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't happen in November. Uh, what can fans expect on the tour throughout November? A lot of new stuff. We're, um, well, I mean, providing rehearsals go well and we can actually play the new stuff uh, because we do need to rehearse it. But I think it went all right today. Yeah, we, didn't, we didn't mess it up. We didn't make any massive mistakes. It's going to be the best set today, I think. Yeah, I think we, I mean, we're going to do a, a lot of new stuff, but we're also going to throw, you know, I mean, a lot of the stuff, the old stuff that we just did when we carried on there and, you know, throw all the classics in there as well for fans because we, we still like playing them. 
but yeah, I think we're you know we're gonna do loads of new stuff, and the, the sound is a lot bigger. <laughs> the uh, the lighting show, hopefully, if we can get the budget, will be a bit a bit bigger. So it's it's a, it's an exciting tour. But I think we're trying to step it up a lot. Sounds great. Do you guys have a favourite venue to play in the UK then? Paradise. Yeah, it, like every time it's like and the floors are sprung okay. sprung floor, stars on the ceiling, like dressing rooms from 1952. <laughs> you know what I mean, it's uh, genuinely though it's like I I run a venue in Cov and yeah. it's just like <laughs> he's happy. He, it's, it's his venue too, so he's happy I've mentioned that. <laughs> <laughs> it's called the Empire. You can find it on Facebook. Um, yeah, it's um, we'll yeah, when, when we when we're doing it, <laughs> edit that out. <laughs> yeah, edit that. Yeah, it's like it's a Metallica when, game. It's a Metallica game. <laughs> 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 when we were building that venue, it's like we've got this great big arch ceiling, and we're like it's like a mini barrelands. But yeah, I mean, the barrels is the barrels. Yeah, it takes a bit of beating there. Yeah. Um, okay, a bit of a high noon shootout for you guys then. Beatles or Stones? Ah, oh, see, right. Stones for me. Yeah, I mean, for sound, I reckon, and vibe, like generally, Stones. The pure, like, just songwriting, do you know what I mean? The, the, yeah. For just the choruses and the craftsmanship of the songs. We got to support the Stones as well, didn't we? We have played with the Stones, yeah. I mean, I don't want to disappoint you, but you're probably not going to get to play with the Beatles. <laughs> you might see a bit of a reoccurring theme here with this high noon shootout. A few of the bands that you've supported and toured with. Oh, right. Okay, um, we're going there, are we? Yeah. <laughs> we're going to be here for a long time. Lennon or McCartney? Uh, Lennon all day. Yeah. Liam? Yeah, for it, Lennon. Andy? Lennon. Do you know why as well? Like, I love McCartney, and this is probably like, I'm sure he's I'm sure he's sitting at home now going, right, I've done the thing with Kanye, I'm dying to work with Tom Clark, uh, and, and, and this will probably mess it up. But. Didn't he once, and I'm probably wrong as well, I'm just like a tit now, but didn't he once, when the teachers were striking for wages, tell them to just go back to work and get on with it? And it's like, he was like, he was like the original Jeremy Clarkson. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But yeah, anyway, let them all there. Cool. Uh, Blur or Oasis? Right, again, this is like Beatles and Stones, isn't it? Yeah. It's like, for vibe, um, the general sound and swagger and all of that, obviously Oasis. But then, if you like, if you if you live with Blur albums, it's like the songs are the songs are there. Do you know what I mean? And they were pushing the envelope. I don't know. I, I couldn't I actually couldn't call that one. I actually couldn't call it. What about you guys? You gonna call that one? <laughs> it was was always Oasis for me growing up. Yeah. But I was a big Blur fan as well, so it's kind of yeah. I, I'll grow into love Blur. I do love them. So you're saying Oasis. Great so you're saying Blur. And I'm you saying, don't know. And I'm saying yeah, that that's keeps, what we go with. That, 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 that keeps both our options open for support. support. Come yeah. on, lad, give us a call. <laughs> Stereophonics or Mannix? Ah, oh, right. So I mean, we toured with both of them. Um, they were, what are you doing to us? <laughs> yeah. Why are you so doing we're, this? Like, we're losing friends. Here, you, know? <laughs> you can um, say pass if you wish. No, no. I, I mean, like phonics, just like loads and loads and loads of tunes, and like they were the soundtracks are a massive part of my life, and that's all we did with them. I mean that that broke us. It was that was massive for us. Mannix, like in terms of lyrics, you've got to go a long way, I think, to find better lyrics than Mannix, haven't you? Yeah. Cool, thanks, guys. Ash or the Fratellis? Ash or the Fratellis? I mean, Ash. Every, I time, Ash. every time I see Ash, like they're just so nice. For us. Yeah. But then but also we know, we know the Fratellis. Sound. The Fratellis are like also the same as guys ever, and they put us on at Electric Ballroom. Yeah. Where we were nothing. Our first London game. We were literally it? nothing. We've never played London, and I think. I think the view pulled out. Um, Exhausted. And then we were like, we were told if you can get to London in the fiesta that we had in the time with all your equipment and get on stage, then you can support the tellies. And we did, and it was massive for us. Awesome. Guys, thanks very much for your time. Have a great night out in Glasgow and look forward to seeing you guys again in November. Nice one. Yeah, cheers. cheers. Thank you. Awesome.